then I was having swollen face, swollen stomach, swollen leg, and for three weeks I've not been going to the toilet. So I did, uh, I record myself and post on social media because I was out of cash. I needed some uh, cash assistance. Good day, NSPPDans family. I am not bothered that the Lord has shown mercy. I'm here to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life. My name is Godwin Chine H. Kujama from Oba, Anambra State. 2022 December, I was down with kidney failure. This test was conducted on 8th December 2022. If you look here, you see dangers. This is the result of my kidney. I was admitted at the hospital and the doctor looked at me and said, my case is critical, but he's going to try his best. So I did, uh, I record myself and post on social media because I was out of cash. I needed some uh, cash assistance. So after posting that, my friend and my sister, Josephine, saw the video and she called me and said, Chine, what is happening? Where are you? I said, I'm at the hospital. I'm very sick and I'm dying. She said, okay, don't worry, you're not going to die. She now sent me a link of a stream of joy. I said, they're following up that day, second day. And uh, immediately I came, I saw the Pastor Jerry mentioning my case. So I claimed, I started praying, you know. To that kidney failure, I say it's a lie. That kidney failure. Let God be true and every man a liar. I command, let that kidney bounce back to life. For the Lord has remembered you. Let that kidney bounce back to life. Let it bounce back. The following day, they mentioned my case. I said, praying as well. Even in the hospital, they see me as a mattress because every time I'll be with my phone, be shouting, you know, praying. So then I was having swollen face, swollen stomach, swollen leg, and for three weeks I've not been going to the toilet. So after that two days prayer, the following day, I noticed that those my swollen face started reducing, my leg, my tummy started reducing. I called Josephine. I say, Wow, God has started doing this miracle. My face and all this are reducing. She said, Okay, don't worry, God will do it for us. The, the next thing I did was I said, God, I know you are doing it, but please confirm my miracle. Because for that three reasons, I'm not going to the toilet. Each time I tried to go and force myself to the toilet because there was no space, you know, everything everywhere is filled up. So each time I go to the toilet to try to uh, do it by myself, I'll find that I'll, I'll start peeing blood. Not just blood, pure blood. The first day, the sentence, second day, the blood was much, the pole everywhere was filled with blood. My brother came, started screaming, shouting. They think, uh, even my myself, I was scared. I said, it's over. So, second third time, the sentence, and the doctor advised me to stop doing it. That don't, that I should not worry. The most important thing is my kidney to revive. Once my kidney revive, they can do operation to do whatever, whatever. And I said, no, God forbid, they can never operate me. After that, I now started praying. I said, God, please confirm my miracle. I want to be going toilet by myself. People of God, after this prayer, the next thing, I started having out for toilet. But because of the fear, I don't want to pee out those blood again. I did not go that day, but I could not sleep well. The following day, I went. People of God, when I went there, I tried the next thing the things start coming out. When I was praying, the things start coming out. I shout and I scream. When, you know when Pastor Jerry will say, how will you shout? How will you scream when the God remembered you? People of God, I shout and I scream in the bathroom and people was like, what's happening there? I came out, I was happy. I called my sister, my friend Josephine. I called my sister, Chine. I told them that God has finally did it for us. That I'm not completely healed. I've confirmed it is done. So I said, okay, let me run tests. I now run another test. When I run this test, look at the result here. Look at it. You can see those dangers are no longer there. So when this result came out, the doctor called me and said, God win Chine, come to my office. And when I went, the doctor looked at me and said, My case, if this sickness has happened to 10 people, it's only one person has survived it, and that person is me. That God really loved me, God really did something in my life that I should go and live my life and thank God for what He has done for me. People of God. From that day, I received my healing. I'm now okay and sound. People of God, what God cannot do does not exist at all at all. My fellow NSPPDians, God will visit you today. And he has already visited you. Just believe and take it. Thank you, Pastor Jerry, all the NSPPDians family. God bless you for what you've been doing. God has used somebody like you to heal somebody like me. God bless you.